In a time of intense unrest and instability throughout the world, the Almighty God has shown us the solution. Divine dreams revealed to us as a small piece of revelation from Almighty God, thus fulfilling His promise to the Muslim Ummah, a significant promise from these two authentic hadiths. Towards the end of times, hardly any dreams will be untrue. The Prophet wasallam said, that will be because the prophethood and its effects will be so far away in time. So the believers will be given some compensation in the form of dreams. It will bring them some good news. Or it will help them to be patient and steadfast in their faith. In another hadith, the Prophet wasallam lifted the curtain. He saw that the people were standing in rows of prayer behind Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu He said, O oh people, there remain nothing that gives good tidings from prophethood except a true dream which a Muslim has himself or what another Muslim has for him. Now Qasim's dreams warn us of a horrible time caused by evil men and the dreams also promises us of a near future with almost endless blessings. True dreams which can never fail to be true. And that is one of the absolute significance of these dreams being from the one true God. Allah has commanded Qasim to spread the dreams Allah has shown him. This is one part of Allah's plan to spread peace and blessings on the world. Among those dreams is a significant one that was initially shared on March 9, 2017. The significance of this dream is that this dream has in fact come true one year later. This dream recalls a speech of Erdogan after gaining tons of power, saying how they will bring back the Ottoman Empire. The dream then shifts to a conversation between evil people. They said to each other that the Erdogan has began conquering parts in Syria. They then said we must stop him before he gets more power. Now. We have recently been informed by the worldwide news that the Erdogan has in fact been leading Turkey forces into conquering the lands of Syria. On March 18, 2018, Turkish forces and free Syrian army rebels have recaptured the center of Afrin in northwest Syria. Now what are the odds that over hundreds of different outcomes, the one shown in Qasim's dream has manifested? This is an ultimate sign and a significant proof that Qasim's dreams are from Almighty Allah. Qasim's dreams tell us of hundreds of other events that will take place without a doubt. Will we then not take heed before the other dreams come true? These dreams simply warn us of the true evil that will arise without a doubt. They make us strive towards peace and mercy while strongly being against any violence. Will we not then stand with those who strive for nothing except mercy and compassion?